Greetings comrades, my name is Gigantos and today is day 7.1 of Lent. The reason why I say 7.1 is because well, one of the things I got confused about last time when I tried to do Lent was that there aren't four okay so there aren't technically 40 uh, four, there aren't 40 days of Lent there's actually 44 however most people take the weekends off so that changes it a little bit. I mean, that, that's why when I did Palm Sunday, my Palm Sunday video, I said that um, it was Lent day 40.4 for that for, uh, for that one. And that was because I got mixed, mixed up with the counting because of the whole Sunday thing. So, technically, because the Sunday has passed, this is day uh, 7.1 of Lent. So, okay, so far it's going good for Lent, remaining strong like I did last year. And. I think I'm handling it quite well. You can see there's a pandemic. I mean, I don't eat much anyway, so this this is a little bit further. I mean, one of the good things about staying at home is that you don't need to eat as much to do to do anything. So that's one of the good things about it. So one of the things um, I have been dealing with quite a lot quite lately, quite a lot lately, especially on Facebook, is um, is heretics, and for some reason it's mainly um, Aryans. So as you don't know. Um, Aryans are basically those who say that Jesus wasn't God, he was just human, or you know, so no divine nature in him, either he has divine and human nature mixed together. I've been dealing with them a lot lately, and some of them, like, uh, okay, out of, out of them, two were, two were Jehovah's Witnesses. One of them was very aggressive, a lot of insults and cursing and caps and everything. One, uh, one was a Baha'i, well, a member of the Baha'i faith, so. Okay, but Baha'i, they, but they believe that um, that Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, Muhammad, uh, and a couple others maybe, uh, Confucius, Lao Tse, something like that, they're all members of, uh, they're all prophets from one great religion, and they're very un united in that sense, thinking, well, at least they, they think, even though, thankfully, okay, something I learned from their theology and I, you know, I'll probably make a video about this properly to cover how to counter them but let, let's put it this way their theology is mocking to every single religion out there who does all the followers of Confucius all the followers of Lao Tse or Taoism all the all Muslims all Jews all Christians all Hindus or Buddhists the Baha'i faith is basically a, is basically a mixture of all of them and then parts of it burnt away so it, becomes, so it tries to fit together and I was dealing with this Baha'i. His theology made no sense. And it was almost insulting all the claims he was making. Although eventually it turned out that he was a planner, he was an apostate to his own religion, which is a bit sad, because he had indoctrinated himself into his own cult. Which meant that he rejected all logic and reason and accepted only the eternal truths. But then rejected all holy books, which made no sense. And he rejected tradition too, and all scientific methods of proving anything, which is very weird bit sad that speaking of which i will be releasing my my council of nice in a nutshell video tomorrow if i get around to editing it properly they get quickly in time because i noticed um there's a problem with the audio it's always the audio there's a problem with the audio which i had meant that has re-recorded so, and i'm just trying to quickly put the audio back into place now so i may have to do that a couple more of my other uh, church council nutshell video but hopefully council of night the first council of nice in a nutshell video will come out tomorrow Got okay, I really got to change on my hands cramping. That, that's actually um, there's a video, there's a special video I planned for my uh, for, Hello for Halloween, Oof. Okay, not yet for Easter, in which I do plan to cover how exactly Jesus suffered during his passion and on the cross. It's very in depth and it's very moving, so maybe have a box of tissues by next to you. Oh yeah, what a warning! As time goes, as time gets closer to Easter. I may have to take a what I initially introduced the idea of was a Sabbath week or period of time, and it's because I do need to focus on my studies. I mean, I'm keeping track. I'm, I'm, I'm up to date with everything I have right now, but as exam, but as the exam period gets closer, between the end of rather my first piece of coursework, I need to hand it on the first of April. That's how close it is, and then after that, I need to start handing in stuff between the between May and June. So as the exams and stuff get closer, I may need to take some breaks to try and catch up, to try and make sure I get everything in there. I mean, 
unfortunately um next week we'll be i'll be getting the stuff that's due on that for april the first i'll be getting the 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 aerial bubble the details about that and stuff by next week and i'll just power through as quick as i could anyway so that's lent day 7.1 since lent one uh, day one so exams coming up gotta keep prepared for that dealing with heretics in fact i'm dealing with one right now um, Jehovah's Witness guy on a, on a biblical archaeology site. It was very weird. He made a bunch of claims about Constant, as Empress Saint Constantine. Don't worry, I've, I've, I've counted them and all the claims against theology properly. Uh, handling the fasting well. Make sure you, you know, all of you guys, I know it's the first week, but still, you know, I, I have faith in you that you can do this. Good luck to you all. And hopefully, see you guys on the other side soon of Lent day 14. And Day 14.2, possibly, maybe. I'm confusing myself. I'll get my calendar. Uh, I'll get my calendar sorted off this. Don't worry. Wait, wait. Look forward to the video release tomorrow. First Council of Nicene in a nutshell video. That's it for then. See you next video, comrades. Until then.